What's going on guys? Welcome back to Black Tide TV. In today's video, Far Cry Primal footage finally makes it to the channel. Meanwhile, we'll be discussing the Far Cry 5 announcement trailer, the official announcement trailer, as well as the teaser trailer that came out on Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. The announcement trailer for Far Cry 5 just came out today. Big, huge news. There was actually three or four trailers that came out. I believe there was an original official reveal, and then there were three character trailers. I'll have a follow-up video discussing those character trailers, but in today's video, we're discussing the actual official announcement trailer because there was so much to go over in there. A ton of new weapons, new vehicles, NPCs, which of course are those characters that we're going to be talking about in that follow-up video. There is a whole new setting and just a whole bunch of stuff to go over in today's video and so we're going to be taking the time to do that here today now unfortunately i can't show you guys the trailer in this video other youtubers do it i don't know how they get away with it without falling into that copyright infringement area if i post the trailer in this video I will most likely just get completely just taken down or whatever. I won't be able to monetize the video. And so we're not going to be doing that. If you haven't yet seen the trailer, I highly advise you to check it out. I will link a link to the teaser trailer and the official announcement trailer in the description of this video. If you haven't yet seen them, highly advise you do. I'm so hyped for these games. If you didn't know, Far Cry 3 was my absolute, one of my absolute favorite games of all time. It's right up there next to like Skyrim, next to Uncharted 2. These are some of my favorite games of all time. Far Cry 3 completely crushed it. One of my favorite first person shooters ever made. Far Cry 4 not so much. I think they just kind of fell into the tropes and they kind of just followed on Far Cry 3's success. There wasn't too much innovation there. Far Cry Primal, obviously I never got to play it until now. The gameplay footage you're actually seeing is... Far Cry Primal footage from my very first playthrough of the game, which was just the other night. This is only the first like hour or so of the game. So if I look like I don't know what I'm doing, it's probably because I don't know what I'm doing. And Far Cry Primal is so much different than all the other Far Cry games. But that's enough about this. We have so much to go over for this Far Cry 5 trailer. So let's jump into it. So first off, we're going to start with the teaser trailer because I never got a chance to talk about that. But there was a 40 second teaser trailer that kind of came out. I think it was Tuesday. And this basically just showed the game engine. It showed like a couple of small scenes. There were no like first person anything. There wasn't any first person anything in the uh, in the official announcement trailer either. It was mostly just like cinematics and stuff, but it was actual game engine footage, which is pretty cool. But um, with our teaser trailer, basically we got a look at the environment. There was like this lush, beautiful environment. We saw the water and wind physics just look absolutely like astronomical in this game. The water flow and the sound and everything like it looks and it, it looks like you can feel the flow of the water. If you know what I mean, like it looks that detailed. It looks really, really nice. Like a lot of work went into making this game look really great. And this is game engine footage that they did show. And Oh my god, I'm super hyped for it. Far Cry has always been such a beautiful kind of game. Like, even in these really expansive kind of strange places, like Far Cry 2, for example, we were in Africa, and there was a lot of, like, desert terrain. And even though it was, like, desert terrain, and it wasn't, like, the prettiest stuff to look at, it was still very pretty to look at. And this is really what they're getting at with this teaser trailer. He kind of jumped into like the water physics. You could see the water flowing and you could see the wind. There was a guy running through a field of all these reeds and you could see the wind kind of swishing through and you could see like all the physics that are going on with the environment. And this is just small potatoes, right? This is just physics that you're going to see in the background footage of the game. But even the, like the detail that went into that, at least in this trailer anyways, is unparalleled. Now Ubisoft, I believe, is one of those companies that's a little... Uh, one of those ones where it looks really good in the trailer and then it kind of falls a little short in the game but far cry has always been a great looking game far cry 2 far cry 3 far cry 4 all of them look really great far cry primal looks absolutely amazing and i'm 100 percent on board if this game looks like the way that the trailers are really portraying it to you know, we get uh, church, like they really focus on this church and this church bell being rung. And the, there's a guy up in the church tower actually ringing the bell with an infidel's head. He's like like a dead guy. He grabs his head and he's just smashing it against the bell to ring the bell. And uh, we basically get this thing that says, Welcome to Hope County, Montana. And that's our new setting. Now, I'm going to have a full video talking about this setting because it's pretty controversial. A lot of people are saying like, oh, this isn't really Far Cry because we're in Montana. We're back in like in America. We've 
who've never been in America with Far Cry. Far Cry has always been about being in these really strange places like um, in Far Cry 3 we're on an island, Far Cry 4 we are in the Himalayas, Far Cry uh, Primal obviously is like way back 10,000 BC. Um, there was another one, Far Cry 2 like I said was in Africa, so like these very strange environments that we're not really used to, whereas this one we're bringing it back to America, it's like and eh, like what can they do with that like how can they make that a really uh like a wild like survival type open sandbox arena how can they do that and i'm going to have a full video discussing that uh moving forward but right from this teaser trailer we get like this very resident evil 7 outlast 2 vibe like these games that have been coming out recently where it's like really focused on like the redneck kind of culture i, I don't want to say it like that but i don't think there's a better way to put it but like this really rural culture uh from like the midwest states and stuff and i think it's a cool i think it's a cool different take that we're getting into like we haven't seen uh, like we haven't really explored that area in video games too much like a lot of video games we kind of like go from area to area like we'll focus really hard on zombies for a while and everyone will have an will have a zombies mode and then we focus really hard on this different thing and like we kind of move like we have stages that we're going through with video games and i think that this is just the stage that we're in now and i think it's a good i think it's a good setting for far cry for now for now i'll just leave you with that i think this is a good setting i think it makes sense and you guys will totally understand how i think it makes sense when i have that full video coming out a little bit later Without further ado, let's get into the actual official announcement trailer. So right off the bat with our official announcement trailer, we're seeing in the bottom right hand corner of the screen that game engine footage was used to make the trailer itself. So again, they're doubling down on look at how great our game looks and it's really going to bite them in the ass in the long run if the game doesn't actually look that nice. Although I, like I said, have always thought that the Far Cry games look really great, and so I'm not too concerned about it. I think the game will actually look this good. And when we're actually going through here, you can see the game engine at work. You can see like the shadows being cast by different characters. The character models themselves are absolutely fantastic. The I think it's actually one of the character one of the character trailers. I think it's for the uh, the preacher. But the the trailers where they're showing the characters really close up, you can see like their facial expressions. You can see the one guy's facial hair. It's just so detailed, right down to the very last like little hair follicles. Like it's very detailed. And if this actually makes it into the first person selection of this game i'll be very very impressed like this game looks really really good so far from these couple trailers that we've seen but we have been duped by trailers before when it comes to the video game kind of selection of media right it's when it comes to video games we're sometimes screwed over when it comes to trailers now this trailer is a little bit more story oriented it's telling us what's going on so instead of just giving us a little teaser like we had on Tuesday. On Friday, we had a pretty big kind of look at what you're going to be doing. It showed us the enemies. It showed us some weapons and stuff. So let's get into that. So first off, we're seeing Christian extremists, religious radicals, whatever you want to call them. And these guys are kind of taking over Hope County. So Hope County, Montana is where you are. There's no real story around your personal character. And that is immediately freaking me out because the number one thing that I loved about Far Cry 3, why it's one of my favorite games of all time, is because it was such a great character story. It really drove uh, forward based on your personal character because the character was being exposed to new things. The character first, right off the very bat of the game, has to survive the most impossible odds and then you end up killing somebody and you're freaking out and you're having a really bad time about it and then as you get going through the game you start killing more people you start becoming kind of a madman you're starting to lose your mind and it's really great to see that character progression it was really cool to see like what the breaking points were for how far a human will go to survive that was what far cry 3 was all about that's why that game was was so high is so high on my standard shelf far cry 4 on the other hand we kind of just jumped in and it was like oh i'm bringing my ash like i'm just a, a kid from america and i'm just gonna bring my mother's ashes home and you just show up and right off the bat you can instantly just start slaughtering people by the hundreds without a single word about oh my god i'm killing people it's like no big deal like oh i kill people in america all the time come on so this trailer 
has nothing to do with our main character. It doesn't talk about the main character, doesn't show off the main character. I'm pretty sure we don't actually see the main character in this trailer whatsoever, and that's kind of got me worried. But that's pretty much the only thing that I'm worried about with this trailer. We do see a lot of the enemies. We don't see like the main bad guy, like the pagan men of this game. But we do see, we do hear a little bit about them, and they do talk about them in the description. So we kick off the trailer with a couple calm shots of the rural environment. Some guy fishing. We see some guy just hanging out with his dog. Uh, we see a bunch of other kind of very peaceful settings. We see like a windmill on a farm, and then all of a sudden these trucks pull up with this weird symbol on there, and these radical guys are coming in, and they're basically forcibly converting people to their religion and we get this voiceover probably from the main antagonist of the game and he's just talking about like oh we're gonna make you believe in what we believe in and we're taking over and all this kind of stuff and there is a little bit more of how that happens in the description of the actual trailer which we'll get into towards the end of this video but for now we're just going to keep going through the trailer so they're forcing conversion they're baptizing people forcibly baptizing people like there's a scene in this trailer where the guy grab somebody by the back of their head and shoves them into the water while he's trying to baptize them really like freaky how this is all happening it, it's really kind of like deliverance it's really kind of like these redneck freaking radical guys are just forcing not themselves onto people but they're forcing their religion onto people it's going to be a very controversial game. Now, I'm going to have a full video again. This is another video for the future, but a full video on how this religious kind of take on the enemy is uh, offensive to people. Are people going to, uh, is it going to be a problem for the game or is it going to be publicity for the game? This is a big thing when I'm looking at this. I'm like, mm, that, I don't know if it's going to be a good or a bad thing that they're really driving home this kind of religious kind of style because this isn't something that really Far Cry has got into in the past. For the most part, Far Cry has just been, Far Cry 3 was about survival. Far Cry 2, I believe, was about the drug trade. Far Cry 4 was about rebellion and like governments and stuff. So Far Cry 5 looks like it's going to be about religion and that's a really touchy subject and I'm not sure how they're going to handle that. Ubisoft is a team of, like they have it at the beginning of all their games, especially the Assassin's Creed series, Ubisoft is a, is a bunch of religions and a bunch of different faiths and stuff like that all work on their games. So I think they are going to approach it with a steady hand, but I'm just like, I'm worried about how they're going to really get into this religious kind of style at the end of the day, if it's going to work out for them or if it's going to be a big problem. So we're gonna have a full, full video talking all about that in the future. But moving through this trailer, we're gonna continue on. So these religious nutbags just show up out of nowhere and they, they're driving in and they're, they're kind of taking over this county. Now, is this possible? Well, we'll have the, another video on that in the future too, like where this kind of area is located. I actually looked up some statistics and Montana is actually one of the lowest population and one of the lowest population density states, like 48 out of 50 states. It's like really, 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 really low. So this is actually quite possible with such a small population with like so many, so many people are scattered apart. It, it does actually make sense that there wouldn't be a big law force. There's not a whole lot of cell coverage and stuff like that in those Midwestern states. So it is very possible. And I have a full video on Montana and how this setting could actually work in a re how this setting can actually be realistic. We'll have a full video on that in the future. But just food for thought that this is actually possible that these guys can show up without any military support, without any government support, and they can actually take over. They could actually take over this rural kind of county this rural area of montana be just because of the circumstances that that state is in so it is kind of something to, to think about when you're really looking at this in the long run like this is actually kind of creepy that this could actually happen in the real world but more on that in a future video for now these guys are just showing up they're taking over the town and then we get some looks at the environment so montana is a great place we've got a lot of varied settings so we've got mountain ranges we've got open fields and farmlands in this actual trailer we only see one town and that would be the town of falls end so it's a very small town we actually see the water tower as we're coming into the town and then we see like the general store and stuff like that but this water tower really got like they focused on this water town i'm thinking 
Could that be like one of those like lookout points? Are the water towers going to take over for the radio towers? Are there going to be multiple towns? Like are there going to be like four main towns on each compass point maybe? And then we go and we take we go up that water tower and we use that as our lookout point or something like that. That could be very interesting. So they really focused on this water tower for a good couple seconds like a that wasn't a very long trailer so every second counts and they focus on this water tower pretty long so i'm thinking that the water towers might actually have something to do with the long run of the game like we might have to scale these water towers for vantage points or something like that and that's just another just something that i would like to point out about this trailer that i spotted that you might not have really taken into consideration on your first viewing and now at this point in the video, I'd like to discuss the different items revealed in this trailer. And by items, I mean weapons, vehicles, non-player characters, any singular item revealed in this trailer. The first thing that I'd like to bring up is that there is a dog in this trailer. And that's got me thinking from my time with Far Cry Primal that we may have companion characters back. So in Far Cry Primal... You can actually control animals so you can have like a wolf companion and you can tell that companion to go and attack somebody or something like that and the owner of the actual dog or what seems like the owner of the dog in this trailer has not yet had a character trailer so the other three characters actually shown off in this trailer have had their own character trailers like their own special thing talking about them all of them have had it except for the guy that's sitting there with the dog so I'm like, maybe the owner's going to die and we're going to get control of that dog and we're going to have a companion character again. Just food for thought. Next up is there's a couple activities shown. So there's a guy fishing. Maybe we'll have fishing in a Far Cry game. I'm not sure if there's ever been fishing in a Far Cry game. I know that we, you, obviously you can always hunt and there's hunting in this as well, of course. But I don't know if you've ever been able to fish in a Far Cry game. So that might be in there as well. Now on to weaponry, we saw a couple different weapons in this trailer. We saw hunting rifles, lever action, bolt action, the standard. We've got an AR-15 or some other kind of assault rifle. We've got a pump shotgun, a pump action shotgun. There is an Uzi or some kind of submachine gun being sprayed off the back of an ATV. There is a revolver, a smaller handgun, and last but not least, a large scale machine gun mount on the back of a pickup truck. And speaking of pickup trucks, there seems to be a ton of different vehicles in this game if the description and the trailer itself are to be believed. We've got a pickup truck, a helicopter, plane, racing truck, big rig, and ATV all featured in this trailer. Something I'd like to bring up about the ATV very quickly is that there are actually two characters on that ATV in this trailer and both of those characters seem to be uh hero characters they're not they don't seem to be enemies they don't seem to be dressed up like this cult so that's got me thinking about co-op modes maybe we're going to have like an npc on the back of our atv or maybe driving and we're shooting or maybe we will have those co-op modes back again and we'll be able to play with a friend during certain missions or maybe all the time maybe a full story co-op that's something to, to think about and something that we can discuss further in another video at another time if you guys are interested in that but those are all the vehicles really shown off in the trailer the description that we're going to get into actually talks about some more vehicles that i haven't mentioned so there's going to be a lot more exploration in this game, as we can tell. There's going to be more routes. There's going to be aerial vehicles for change. Well, not really for change. I guess there was a helicopter in Far Cry 4, but I'm not sure if we ever actually got to pilot that one. So we're going to have aerial vehicles. We're going to have ground vehicles, probably water vehicles as well. So there's going to be a lot more routes and a lot more different ways of getting around in this game. Lastly, the NPCs. Like I said, we're going to have that full video talking about the character trailers a little later on. But for now, we do actually get our first look at Mary May, who is the bartender of what seems to be this same town, Falls End. We've got Nick Rye, who's like a mechanic pilot type. And then we've got Pastor Jerome Jeffries, who's like the most badass pastor ever, strapping on that uh, bulletproof vest and taking out a shotgun because these uh these zealots or whatever are kind of misrepresenting his faith and he's gonna go out there and he's gonna show them what's what so he looks pretty damn cool he's gonna probably gonna be one of my favorite characters anyways 
Last but not least, the animals. We do see a few different animals. I didn't really pick up on a ton of them, but I'm sure that there will be more for like all the hunting and the skinning and the crafting. We always had a ton of animals in the Far Cry games. The only three that I actually picked out from this trailer were a deer, a cow, and a bear. So maybe we'll have more, more animals again in my Montana video. We're going to talk about all like the wildlife in Montana and how they can uh, make it more realistic in this game. And right before we finish this video off, I want to talk about the description because the description of these trailers actually gives us a little bit more insight into the games themselves. They actually have a couple more details in there that aren't revealed in the trailers. So first off, in the description it states, Explore rivers, lands, and skies with the largest custom weapon and vehicle roster from any Far Cry game ever. So we're going to have more ways to customize more weapons, more vehicles, and land, river, and sky. Like I said, there's going to be aerial vehicles, land vehicles, and watercraft. Places you discover and locals you ally will shape your story. So basically, you can go in whatever direction you want. There's actually another quote here. Um, freedom to go any direction, tackle the world in any order you choose. This has always kind of been the staple of the Far Cry series, an open world sandbox where you can just move around, do whatever you want to do. And it looks like this is actually going to impact how the game works now. So instead of just going to an area and then you know about that area, but the actual in-game characters don't know that you know about that area, maybe perhaps wherever you go and whatever places like you actually impact like say you go to a specific uh random encampment and you destroy that encampment or something you kill the zealots there maybe they will know that you killed them there later on and they'll actually bring that back up and that's actually going to play a bigger part in the story which would be pretty cool i like those really intricate stories where it depends on what missions you do first it depends on where you go first and that's ultimately going to change the entire outcome of the story instead of like far cry 4 where we had all these different options just to end up at the very end of the game with an a or b choice i hope that we really do get like a really finite experience and it's like nope you chose this you get this there's no going back Iconic American vehicles from muscle cars to big rigs, ATVs to tractors. So there's a couple more vehicles for you. And finally, a little bit of a little bit on the story. Your arrival incites the cult to violently seize control of the region. You must rise up and spark the fires of resistance to liberate a besieged community. And that's it for today's video, guys. Far Cry 5 comes out. February 27th, 2018. So it's still quite a ways away, which is great because we have a ton of different videos to talk about. We've got our Montana video. We've got the religion video, which is like, is it going to be offensive that they're going to be getting into this religion stuff? How it's going to impact the game? And so much more. We're going to have those character trailer videos coming up very soon. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to drop a like. If you have any ideas of your own, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.